Yes, studios, there are still 3D fans out there. Hey everyone, this is Kevin the Afterpreneur. Welcome to my media and vlogging channel. If this is your first time here and you happen to really like this video, want to hear more about the streaming wars, physical media, all that jazz, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell notification so that you will not miss out on any of our content. Now then, the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X and that stupid Xbox Series S is finally here and, well, it's good. I mean, despite how crappy 2020's been, having new video game consoles definitely makes things right. Now, it's going to be interesting about this console generation. This is the first time that both major competitors have offered digital-only consoles. Now, as you know, or probably could guess, I am not getting these digital-only consoles. Um, I got my Xbox Series X, and then interestingly, my brother got me a PS5, said that, you know, hey, you can pay me back for it. But then we found out that he got the all digital edition and he's like, well, yeah, it was $100 cheaper. And I was like, well, thanks, but no thanks. Um, so he's keeping that and I am keeping my eye out for the PlayStation 5. But here's the thing. There are still, despite the fact that they don't really make the TVs anymore and they don't make the players anymore, there are still fans of 3D movies, particularly Blu-ray 3D. Now, here's the thing. Uh, these systems are coming out in like in Thanksgiving or like in November right around the holiday season and so some people are wondering will I be able to watch my Arthur Christmas my Christmas Carol and my Polar Express in 3D on my new game systems after all the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One as well as Xbox One X I don't think this happens with the Xbox One S but digital only consoles suck but with those other systems, you could still watch your 3D Blu-rays. In fact, the PlayStation 4 is the most pro high-profile device that you can still stream your 3D movies that you bought from Vudu. And I did, in fact, buy some 3D movies digitally from Vudu when they were not available on disc, including some Disney shorts. And the big question that some 3D fans might have is will I be able to watch my 3D movies on these devices? We'll tackle the PlayStation 5 first. Will the PlayStation 5, which I think the PS3 and the PS4 were both 3D friendly, and both had you know stereophonic 3D effects, so you can put your glasses on and you can enjoy 3D content. So you would think the PlayStation 5, especially since Sony made a lot of the 3D TVs, would be stereophonic 3D supported? And is it? And the answer is no, it does not. Now this is from PlayStation Universe and we don't need to read the whole thing because the most important part is down here. They took from the official PlayStation blog FAQ, which it's interesting that this question being on the FAQ means that there should be enough people who are asking this to warrant putting this in the technology, but apparently not. Does PS5 support 3D Blu-ray movies? And the answer is no. 3D stereoscopic output is not supported on the PS5. Now, of course, there is a chance that this could change somewhere down the line. I believe that the Xbox One didn't originally play 3D movies, nor did the PS3, but they added them later on. I personally don't see that happening right now because... Again, they're not really making the TVs anymore, and I don't think Sony even releases 3D content anymore on physical media. Now, I do hear that they are keeping it in production basically for the glasses-free 3D TVs, and who knows, in 10 years, that might encourage them to add a 3D option, and the good thing about 3D discs is that they're format agnostic. That said, the PlayStation 5 owners are out of luck, but what about... Xbox Series X. Well, here's the thing. Interestingly, I could not find a page, but the good news is I have an Xbox Series X, so I decided to test the Blu-ray 3D. I downloaded the Blu-ray app. I popped in my copy of the Lorax on 3D, and it didn't work. Uh, you could hear the audio, but you could not see the images. So what I am taking that to mean, obviously, is that the Xbox Series X 
also does not support Blu-ray 3D or stereophonic, uh, sorry, stereoscopic 3D images. Now, of course, this is a shame. It pretty much means that I will not be getting rid of my PlayStation 4 because I still want to stream my 3D voodoo movies once in a while. And interestingly, it also means that I won't be getting rid of my Xbox One X because I really like Fantasia Music Evolved, but you need the Kinect for uh, Fantasia Music Evolved, and the Kinect is not supported on the Xbox Series X, no adapter, it's just not there. So, you know, it's, so I find it interesting that, um, like, the PlayStation 5 motto... Wait, PS5 slogan is play has no limits. And, you know, technically they might be right. I mean, we're talking about movies. You don't play movies in the sense that you play video games. You watch movies. Even the games aren't going to have 3D support, of course, though. And it is kind of a shame that when they make these new consoles, they take something out that kind of makes that old hardware worth holding on to. I mean, when I have an Xbox Series X... I should, and I'm going to take these off because these are actually uncomfortable looking at a monitor that has no 3D images. Um, I should want to throw away my old consoles, or at the very least sell them to help me pay for the new ones. But I can't do that now because if I get rid of the Xbox One X, I can't ever play Fantasia Music Evolved again. And I actually do play it on a fairly regular basis. And I can't get rid of my 360 for the same way, Connect Games, and Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. And now I can't get rid of my PS4, which I thought for sure I'd be able to get rid of the PS4. But, you know, I have 3D movies on Vudu, and uh, that's one of the that's the only player I have right now where I can stream those movies. So, this is unfortunate, but again, I also completely understand it. 3D is just not a, a thing for these content creators anymore. It's not a thing for TV developers um, it's still out there in foreign countries, but it's certainly not here. So if you want to continue watching your 3D movies and your Xbox One and your PlayStation 4 are your primary methods of watching 3D movies, I would probably hold on to those and not get rid of them. But anyway, I would like to know what you think of this. Do you, Does this disappoint you? Does it com Do you completely understand? I'd love to know. Excuse me. Comment below. Like, favorite, share, subscribe, and as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.